and welcome to my kitchen. I'm Tara with Simply Made Eats and today we are making this yummy double smoked ham or some people call it a twice smoked ham. This is basically just means that the ham is already fully cooked. It's been smoked already and we're just gonna smoke it again and add in a really nice pineapple glaze. This one is so yummy so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you wanna have is a tray like this. It's just a throwaway tray, and I love these because you can just toss it at the end. You can also use a cookie sheet if you don't have one of these available, but what happens is it just keeps all the juices in this pan instead of dripping right through the grate onto the Traeger. We're also going to get our ham ready. Okay, so we're gonna get our ham all the way unwrapped, and we're gonna take that glaze packet and throw it right in the trash can because we're doing a homemade pineapple glaze that is so yummy. Then you're gonna stick the ham right into the tray with the biggest side on the bottom. Then take that Dijon mustard and just use it as a binder. We're gonna rub it all over the outside of this ham. And then you're just gonna give it a nice sprinkle of all-purpose seasoning. This is good on pork or chicken, but you can use whatever kind of seasoning you want. Okay, next we're gonna get our spray bottle ready and we're just gonna spritz this every 30 minutes or so when it's on the grill, on the trigger. I should say, I always wanna say grill, but it's like totally a smoker, different. So I'm just gonna pour in one can of pineapple juice. Taste my full concentration. And then just a little bit of hot sauce. I like Cholula, but we were out of it today, so I am using just a couple drops of this Texas peat. I would say about a half a teaspoon. And just put this cap on and give it a nice little shake. We are officially out to the Traeger. We are gonna double smoke this low and slow at 250 degrees. We're just gonna sit our tray right in the center like that. And we want this to come to 135 degrees internal temperature. You really wanna rely on temperature of your meat more than time for smoking. Um, I am going to go ahead and spray this with that pineapple juice that we have. And you wanna spray it really heavy every 30 minutes. You wanna be checking your internal temperature every time you spray. It ended up taking my six pound ham about two and a half hours to reach 135 degrees internally. Okay, so next we are gonna start our yummy pineapple ham glaze. This one is so much better than the regular packet glaze. Right now we're just mixing together some water and cornstarch into a slurry. This is gonna help the glaze really thicken and it's important to mix cornstarch with water because if not, it will leave a powdery little texture in your glaze. So now into a saucepan, we're gonna start with some pineapple juice, some brown sugar. We've got a couple tablespoons of honey, Dijon mustard, butter, that's salted butter, some cinnamon and clove. We're gonna put this on the stove top at about medium heat until that butter melts. Just give it a nice whisk. And then we're gonna add in that cornstarch mixture. This is gonna start working to make it nice and thick. And we're just gonna keep it on medium heat and whisk it every so often. And then we want it to come to a rapid boil and still whisk it, cause this will burn really fast. We're just gonna do this for a couple minutes and then pull it right off the heat. Look at that thick texture. That is perfect. Next, we're gonna go ahead and pull our ham off the Traeger. The internal temperature should read 135 degrees at this point. And you wanna just go ahead and close your smoker so it keeps that 250 degrees and then just bring your ham inside at this point. We are officially back in the kitchen and I am going to take this guy and just turn it onto its side. I wanna paint the glaze on a little bit like in between the layers. Um, looks so good and it smells so good too. Okay, 
Okay, so I've used like all my glaze. There's like hardly any left. I'm just gonna like pour the rest of this on here, just like that. This is going back on the smoker for about 20 to 30 minutes until it just gets like nice and delicious. That's it, we're all done with this twice smoked ham recipe. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you're looking for Easter side dishes, make sure to check out my party potatoes and my glazed carrots. They're both really popular and so yummy and super easy too. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe so we can keep cooking together and I will see you next time. Bye. So good.